Hello my friends, Grant Dunn here from workwithgrantdunn.com and in this video I just want to talk a little bit about setting goals for your home business, you know, uh, and just getting a real plan of action so that you can move into this next year, 2012 or wherever it is that, you know, you're watching this video, it doesn't really matter, um, but just how you can set goals, how you can really you know, uh, get a plan of action and maybe build a timeline like the, the thing I have behind me right now that can really uh, uh, get, get you a, a different perspective on what it is that you need to do to be successful, to achieve what it is that you want to achieve and, and things like that. So, um, you know, before, let me just tell you a little story about myself in the past seven months. You know, I've been building this home business from from the, the you know the comfort of my home from my computer online and you know something that I've never really done was taking the time to really figure out what my goals are uh, put them in writing and then you know create a plan of action really with you know emphasis on actions on what it's going to take what do I need to do to achieve those goals so that I can you know have the kind of success and the, the results that I'm looking for in my home business now uh, fortunately for me, I made a, a new friend. I mean, he's been a friend of mine for a while, but we just recently became business partners and I'm teaching him the things that I've learned in the past seven months with SEO. Uh, if you know anything about my business, you'll find that, you know, I rank all over the search engines for a lot of different keywords. I write company reviews and things like that. And, uh, basically my entire business is built on traffic to my site, uh, workwithgrantdone.com. But uh, and I'm teaching him those skills. But something that Chad really understands and has really focused on a lot in the past, you know, year, uh, year and a half is maybe two years actually, is you know personal development, goal setting, and, and really just coming up with a plan of action so that he can achieve exactly what it is uh, that he wants. And over the past couple of weeks, he's been working with me on these particular things. Uh, I knew I've always known that setting goals has been a, it should you know is a powerful way to really get a perspective and I knew I should have been doing it but I just didn't uh, maybe I just I don't know if I really believed in it enough to you know trust that if I spent the time that it would really be you know time well spent you know I've always thought you know if I can sit in front of my computer long enough uh, I'll achieve the, the results that I want and that's just not always the case um, you know really putting things in perspective changes stuff so and I'll tell you a little bit about how that's worked out for me because this particular weekend just uh, yesterday and the day before, um, it's Monday, 2012, right now. Um, but to, uh, you know, this last Sunday and Saturday, we worked on this thing, you know, this goal setting and building a timeline. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what I learned and what I did, and go over this this board behind me. And uh, I just want you to know that this weekend I had a major mental breakthrough. Uh, I was able to take the big mess of what has been in my head, you know, all the, the things that I knew that I needed to accomplish to achieve what I wanted, and it's just been a weight lifted off my shoulders, placed on this whiteboard behind me, and now the the way I see it in my mind is much smaller, and 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 I feel like I can achieve what I need to, to, to achieve to, to have what I want. So... Let me just talk about what's on this board here. If you actually take a look, um, when when we got started this weekend, the first thing that Chad had me do was write down what it was that I really wanted to do. And what that was, was to I want to be a $10,000 per month income earner very soon, within the next six months, I want to be earning that kind of money. Um, and so what we talked about was, okay, well, the first thing he had me do was, okay, write down, I do not make... Ten thousand dollars per month. In fact, it's a more specific number: ten thousand two hundred and forty-seven and sixty-two cents uh, per month. Um, and he had me write down what the reasons are. What are the things that I do not have or do not possess in my business today that will gr will greatly affect uh, the ability or the opportunity to be earning ten thousand dollars per month? And so I came up with about five different reasons. One being you know, lack of traffic. I mean, I get a lot of traffic, but the more traffic I can get, the more leads I can generate, the more sales I can make, and the more, you know, signups I can have into my other opportunities. Um, you know, so so traffic was one of them. Leads was one of them. Not enough leads. Uh, I didn't have my own, I don't have my own boot camp put together yet. 
and I don't have my own uh, product created so that I can sell that in the marketplace. And, uh, uh, you know, a couple other things. I, I, I know that I need to really work on my social media uh, pillar of my business to really be able to leverage Twitter and Facebook and, and different platforms like that to build my business. So these are the things that we discussed, and we actually broke those down to figure out why isn't it that I've achieved those goals? Why is it that I have not, you know, uh, uh, accomplished these things? Okay, and so what we what we decided is okay. There's about there's about four or five different things that I really need to in the next six months to achieve what I want that I really need to focus on. One being okay, obviously I have to create more content. I need more content on my blog to get more traffic to to get more leads so I can build a bigger list and make more money on that with that list and, and be able to provide value obviously to that list. That's a, that's a quadrant one priority, and so that's going to be something I have to accomplish every single day, which means that I need to create content for my blog, for my Empower Network, and video content for YouTube every single day. That's a quadrant one priority. That's a seven-day per week deal every day. I need to do at least that for those three platforms. And the next thing is I need, I need my own boot camp. Um, I'm in the process of putting that together right now. It's going to be like a seven or eight day boot camp that will talk about, you know, the different, it will just basically teach people that come to my website to offer it to, uh, for free. Um, so pay, you know, look out for that. Um, basically what I've done in the last seven months to, to earn the kind of money that I'm already earning. Um, and then obviously what's going to project me into the six figure status. Um, the next thing is I need to start really focusing on social media and so one of those things that's probably going to uh, involve is getting uh, social I think it's called uh, social media mastery with uh, Michelle Pesco Salido so there's a little plug for you Michelle but basically I'm gonna pick up that resource because I know how powerful that uh, training course is and I'm gonna take a full month of time or five weeks of time to go through it, that all of that and automate my Twitter and Facebook um, and use some, you know, some Facebook pay-per-click and things like that, and get a system built there that will help me to generate more leads and build a bigger business. Uh, so my boot camp is is going to be done by January 15th minimum, if not earlier. And then I'll move into uh, the social media mastery course about February 21st, or excuse me, January 21st. But at the same time, I'm going to be focusing uh, about two-week period between January 15th and February 1st on a new SEO tool that'll help me to improve my SEO results, get more backlinks, and just make my site more credible, more authoritative, more traffic, things like that. <clears throat> I already have a really good backlinking strategy that's worked very, very well, but uh, I believe that this next step is going to help me to really dominate. Uh, you know, as far as the search engines, I feel like I could really, really take advantage of that. So, that's 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 the first, those three steps. Now, February fifteenth. You know, some of these are you'll notice some of these are overlapping on each other, and that's just because I can probably work two things at once. Like this binary or biweekly webinar isn't gonna really kill me. I just need to create a training every other week uh, with my mastermind partner Chad Jasso. We'll be hosting webinars starting February fifteenth every two weeks through the rest of the year and probably beyond that. So uh, that'll be a given. Um, and the, you know, the idea, just so you know, is as I'm, as I'm moving through this timeline and I've got these different, you know, you notice I've got breakdowns of where I want to be throughout the process. I haven't gone through these ones yet. I'm just focusing on one at a time. But the goal is to shave off a week of my allotted time. So it's very possible that, you know, social media mastery gets moved back two weeks, you know, or, or forward. Uh, to get done faster and magnetic the this this tool gets moved back and all, all this whole process can get pushed back so that I, instead of achieving my ultimate goal at, at, in May I can achieve it in March right so that's that's the idea but so I'm trying to I'm setting goals but I'm trying I'm also obviously going to try to beat those goals you know I'm, I'm basically competing against my own projections <laughs> in a way so it's kind of exciting in a way, but anyway, so that that's that. Now the next thing, the next phase, or one of the last phases that I've put together so far, is creating my own product. Um, I'm going to start by at, at the least by March 1st. I'm going to start creating my own product, and I want to have it launched in April. 
uh, by April 1st. I want to have take that four weeks. I already kind of know what it's all going to be. Um, uh, it shouldn't take me longer than four weeks to create that product. Um, again, though, the idea is, is hopefully to launch it sooner. Uh, but that's going to be the next step. Now, basically, these phases of my business, I believe that I can, if I can do all these things, master social media, create a boot camp to offer to my leads, my, my blog visitors, uh, my list, uh, my team, create a boot camp to offer for free, start to really, really start to hone in on, on social media, create a, you know, a really, really nice fan page. I already have a fan page, but I don't work at it. Uh, automate my Twitter follows and things like that. Uh, reinvest some of my profits into to more SEO um, uh, tools or another very powerful tool and start doing the webinars to really start branding myself and things like that. I believe that this stuff is going to result in, in a, in a $10,000 per month you know, residual business. It doesn't necessarily have to be residual, just as long as I'm making $10,000 plus per month is the, is the ultimate goal. Um, so, you know, here, here I have what's called a, a major definite purpose. So this is something that I, I read to myself and that I want to memorize um, so that it just a, becomes a part of who I am, what it is that I'm going to become in the next six months. And so let me just read it to you because you may not be able to see it. But basically my major definite purpose is I make $10,247.62 by April 1st, 2000, or through April 1st, uh, 2012, because I have consistently created new blog, Empower Network, and YouTube content, released my seven day boot camp, mastered social media uh, on an automated basis, began bi weekly webinars, and I've released my product, which I uh, erased because uh, I, I want it to be kind of a surprise. I don't want you to know what it's going to be called yet. Uh, but it's going to be incredible. Um, and like I said, should be launched by April. So, so stay tuned for that because that is going to go through basically everything I've done uh, up until this point. And I'm hoping that the the sale will be. Let me show you how to make 10 grand per month, right? <laughs> so, real real value there. But that's my major definite purpose. Uh, and so, so basically, my friends, what I'm really trying to, I, I hope this was helpful for you. What I really want to encourage you to do is if you haven't already taken the time to create goals, to, you know, figure, let me just get a drink of water. I drank a bunch of coffee and I'm like dehydrated. But um, if you haven't taken the time to create your own goals, write them down, figure out what it is that's keeping you from achieving what it is that you want. Let's say you want to make $5,000 per month or 10000 Maybe you want to make $30,000 per month. I don't know what it might be, but if you haven't taken the time to write out your goals and with an emphasis on actions, if you notice here, I have these, I have a goal, right? But the emphasis, so look at, look at, look how much space I have for my goal. The emphasis is on the actions that I'm going to take. The actions, right? You see what I'm saying? So, so w what I'm trying to tell you is, if if you haven't already, you know, done that and created, you know, figured out what it is that you want to do and what it is that you you know need, the actions you need to take to achieve what it is that you want, uh, the income that you want, the time freedom that you want, the uh, job freedom that you want, whatever it might be, you know, whatever it is that you want, if you haven't created those goals and written them out and made you know something like a timeline on how to really accomplish those things, I really want to encourage you to do that because that is going to put you in a different state of mind, okay? Because when I, before this last week, this last weekend, you know, I knew that I needed to do all this stuff behind me. I knew that. Um, but I had it all up here. It was a big mess in my head and it was like a cloud or you could think of it as like a weight on my shoulders, you know, that just seemed, it seemed much bigger than myself. Like, how am I ever going to accomplish those things? Right? And, and when, right? Well, I, I've answered that for myself. I've taken that fog and I've cleared it up. I've taken all of that mess and I've put it into this little whiteboard here. It's not actually little, it's kind of big, but what that's done for me is it's given me a new perspective. Um, where before it was like, oh, this is huge. Now I look at it and I'm like, all I gotta do is complete the tasks on this whiteboard. That's it. 
That's, that's pretty simple for me to do. I feel like I can accomplish this. Never before now have I felt so confident that I will make $10,000 per month. I knew that I was going to do it. I didn't know how or when. Now I know. Right? Obviously, this is going to change as time goes on. I might, like I said, I might push things back. Things might move forward. I don't know how it's all going to play out. But I, I can, I'm pretty confident that at this point, I, I'm going to be able to make another video. Uh, obviously, there'll be a lot of videos until then, but make a video talking about how my first month, uh, or the first month that I make 10000 plus in 30 days. So, my friends, it has been a pleasure. I, I hope that this was helpful information for you. You can go down to Lowe's or Home Depot, buy a cheap piece of whiteboard material like this for 10 bucks. Uh, I didn't want to spend $100 on a really nice big whiteboard, but I wanted a big whiteboard. So uh, I've got a smaller one back there, but you know, go ahead and do that. Take the action, figure out what you need to do, and just do it. Um, I wish you the most prosperous 2012 or wherever uh, is we're coming up on when you're seeing this video. And uh, I just look forward to uh, hearing about your success. You can go ahead and leave comments below. If you're on my blog, leave comments below this video talking, you know, just let me know how goals has improved your business. You know, tell the people who come and see this blog post how, uh, you know, setting goals like this has helped you in your business. I'd love to hear some testimonies. I think it'd be awesome. So, my friends, it's been Grant Dunn from workwithgrantdunn.com. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you on the flip side.